Oh, good morning. Okay, so today's actually been a bit of a rough morning, to be honest with you. We woke up early. <coughs> oh, bless me. Oh, we woke up early and uh, the girls went out to let the roosters out of their night boxes. And we discovered that one of our roos has died. Yeah, um, no. and when, can I tell the story? Yeah, okay. When Anna took Roo out, it was fine. He was fine. But then, um, then I came back later to give him food. Then food. Then that he, I saw him um, on the floor with a feet up in the air dead. He was real and truly dead, wasn't he? Yeah, and there was, and, and there was poop hanging out of his butt crap. It's because... It's his bottom. The bottom. It's yeah. because yeah. it comes out when they're dead. It yeah. washed all the way in through that. That's it, true. When they're dead. Yeah, that's what happened. So I have just been out cleaning that up. Um, and, you know, doing the usual when you've got a, a death on the on the farm stand. And while I was doing that, the kids got all their schoolwork out and set up, ready to go. So now we're gonna get into some schoolwork. Here we go. Let's get it done. Schoolwork, guys? Yeah. So we've just yeah. started a new unit on the human body and we're enjoying it, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, what have you learnt about the human body? Outside of the skin is called um, epi, 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 and epic, epic, <laughs> epidermis. Epidermis is the outer layer of the skin. That's right. I can't reach. You can't reach it. Oh, I've got another one. Cool. What are you making? A skeleton. Ooh. Jeff. Jeff. He's his name's Jeff. Hi Jeff. So I just wanted to jump on. We're going to do a quick vlog today of what we do in a normal day. So uh, today's a really good day to do it. It's a public holiday. The big kids are home from school. We're pretty chilled, doing things slowly, moving slowly, but still a lot to do. You tend to see the, the good stuff, not the good stuff. You tend to see the highlight reel and not our everyday life when we post videos and vlogs up. So. Today is just going to be a bit of mundane, everyday stuff. So, first up, we wake up this morning and we realise that there are some little baby chickies that have broken free. And I'm a little underprepared because I don't have their Brita box ready. So, so my task is to clean this one out. We've had two, no, three little baby chicks in here living there for... Uh, a few weeks now. They've all got feathers, so we've put them outside. I'll show you what we have done so far this morning. It's a beautiful day. Hey, babe, what are you doing? Hi. Hey. Um, just going through what we've done so far today. Um, standard day on a urban homestead. All 1,600 square meters. It's yeah. massive. <laughs> First time I feel like I've been outside for a while with the, the weather. Yeah, sounds nice, hey? Yeah, it's beautiful. So what's yeah. the plan? So I was just saying that it's been a slow morning, it's a public holiday and it's a perfect opportunity to show off our chores, our daily chores, what we need to get done, what we do around the place. Um, I'm just getting Levi, just doing a little bit of training for Levi, getting a bit more flexible. See? And show what I've done today with the chook pen. Okay, let's go. Big strawberry. Oh yeah, that's gonna be Look on that. I'm gonna eat that. Not ready yet. That's fine. Okay. So what's up, babe? So I'm not sure if you guys remember this this area. Um, you might have seen from our garden videos. Um, there's not many people watching them, so obviously you probably haven't seen them. <laughs> but there's a pile here um, where these chooks are right now. That was literally waist height. Uh, it was a mulch pile. It's huge. And now it's gone down to nothing, which is really great. Uh, they've made a bit of a mess here. All these scraps are from our like, shopping centre, all the leftovers. Um, I've got to get to the beehives this week. Um, we've got half a jar of honey left, and that's really bad because we go through like a, a kilo a week. So I haven't got that much time. Um, the beehives, you can see, are overwhelmed um, by weeds. 
We've opened up the chook pan a bit further, just so that they can clean all the weeds up around there. Um, today was a big day for the babies, well, the not so babies now, because we've got more coming. Uh, they've been put in with the big ones now. Um, these ones here, we've been really busy and haven't had a chance. These are babies, these are the same size as the other ones. Same age as same that age. little one behind it. Yeah. Can you guess what they're for? They're for here. This in here. Tell me. <laughs> How many have we got in here, babe? I don't want to say. Let's Lots. carry on. We're going to carry on. <laughs> we've moved um, some. We've just done a bit of changing around, so um, they're happy there. Everyone looks good. We're going to go down and check out the other chook pen that we've got going on and what we've done down there. What have we got here? Well, Jade's just put this out in the sun because we're waiting on lunch and this is our bread for lunch. <laughs> so. hmm. Okay, bread's coming up. Okay, so we had three baby chickens inside in a brooder box and we had four baby chickens in the back room still under a heat light. And we've just moved them all down here with two of our Brahma ladies and our Brahma um, boy. We're attempting a breeding program down here. So this has turned into our little nursery pen. We've got our cream egg bars down here. Four cream ones. What? One boy, three girls. In their outdoor life. Yes. This morning when I came in, they were like, when, when I let them out here, so they're, they're... We've got more babies here, and we've got Jojo just here. Babies are happy to be outside in the sun, foraging, living their best life. So what I'm going to have to do today, I'm going to knock up some quick makeshift um, fences. We've got some stuff from building sites that Megs gets, and I'm actually going to make some frames up and use some chicken wire and make some small cages just so we don't have animals escaping all the time. I feel like half the time during the day, they're just running around everywhere. Yeah. That's what we do. I'm sick of that. Chase these chickens that just escape. So I'm going to make some small cages for the ones that aren't babies, but aren't big enough to go in with the other ones yet, um, which is a bit like those ones right now. So we've got a couple of the grey girls and uh, Joe. They're looking after the babies now. Uh, see how that goes. So you guys might remember that we did this area in our um, garden makeover. Have we finished it? Nope. But I did want to give you an update on what our plants are looking like. So we planted some here, um, probably pretty close to the beginning of the garden makeover. So right now we've got some, got some squash growing here. It's almost ready to come off actually. They need a water. Look how droopy their leaves are. We'll get some water here. Uh, we've got heaps of weeds growing. The marigolds are still coming up and the helichrysum are doing really well. Look at this beautiful flower. It's amazing. Hey, Mum. Hi. Hey, Mum. What yeah. is it? What is it? <gasps> I like blowing things. Dandelion seeds. Can you blow it? Yeah. yeah. <sighs> is it working? Mm. It's not ready yet, maybe. It is, Mum. I blow it on my nose and it works. Oh, okay. Great. Hey, guys. Do you like me to What are you doing? I was cleaning out the box so we can put our coil in here. Nice. Chilies! Yay! I'm excited. Excited. <laughs> Alright. Why are you crying? <laughs> Yeah. Someone's laying an egg, I can hear it. 
She's singing her egg song. What you got, fat boy? What is it? Can I have it? Do you want it? Do you want it? Yeah, Ricky. Go get it.